I'm a metal girl. Hi, Allison McNamara here. Today I'm joined by Jennifer Fisher in New York City where we're gonna go through her new collection. So how did you start your jewelry line? It all started with the birth of my son Shane. Uh, I was told that I would never have a child after going through chemotherapy, that I'd have to have a surrogate oh, wow. carry for me. And so many, many years of trying, um, I actually ended up having the baby myself and carrying him. And so wow. when he was born, I couldn't find anything that you know was sort of badass enough to wear to represent him. It was all very delicate and tiny, and you know, one node. It always had one initial, and I wanted to have his whole name on a chain. And so I made this really simple dog tag, which I still wear to this day, oh, wow. um, that has his name. And I wore it on a long chain. And I was a stylist at the time. And I'd be on set, and I'd always have you know some sort of a white white beater or something on it would come out of my shirt. And people started asking me, "What? Oh, what is that?" And it was instantly a, a conversation piece. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, will you make one for me? I have a friend who's going to want one. And it just sort of started to snowball. And that was so. That was the first piece. That was the first piece. How did you get to this collection now? This is a whole you know this is a whole evolution you know um, from the fine collection. Mm -hmm. And also people really wanting you know requesting bigger pieces for me. I wanted to do something that felt fine but had a you know a diffusion level to it so you know a high end of costing jewelry yeah, it's beautiful so what are your favorite pieces it's definitely darker than some of the things I've seen from you before it is this is called the dark side and this is for, two th for fall 2013 <laughs> I wanted to really you know kind of give it a little bit more of an edge um, after the CFD Vogue fashion fun last year amazing I, for you it was great it was great but I felt safe through it and so I really wanted to express myself and sort of be who I am and you know I'm a little bit darker and I've got a little bit more of an edge and I wanted that to reflect and so this whole collection is sort of you know my emotion and everything coming out of it and, and really just wanting to express yourself on a darker level. The rib, is this like a, a spine? This is a spine. It's a peak spine cuff and so I, I try to make it a little bit modern and give it some you know cleaner lines so it doesn't feel quite as organic as some of the other pieces that I've done. We just started creating our own chains and our own ID bracelets now. And Can you get will, this customized? These will be customized. You know we really did a lot of you know multi-finger, a lot of midi rings which everybody's loving right now and then also you know the words this is VIP. VIP. This is VIP. Yeah. No, but you know, and also, you know, some sort of a double nail and I really love these nails when you wear 20 of them together. It looks really cool. So how would you say this is different from your fine collection? It's just, it's a little bit more expressive. Very you know, cool. I, I try to do the fine with an edge, but you know, this one's just sort of taking it a step further. And I mix the fine with the costume. You know, so I yeah, always... Tell me about your stack here. I mean, you've got tons of jewelry on. I love how you've mixed it all together. It works so effortlessly. I always, you know, I always wear, you know, my J plus K equals S and D, which is my family equation. These have been really big, the <laughs> equations. Yeah, and I love just sort of mixing the, the black and the gold, because I love black and white, and mm -hmm. black and white's so huge, for, you know, right now, and I think it's gonna move forward into spring. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, these heavier pieces work well for fall with the heavier wardrobe, and the, you know, everything that's coming out with sweaters and knits and everything that's gonna happen for fall. Yeah. The things that every girl you think needs to have, she's just starting out that jewelry collection, that she should have in that, her jewelry wardrobe. She should have, I think three cuffs are really good, you know, I mix you know you can always mix you know take a word you know take something that's more every day and then maybe take something that you know has a different color to it you know you can add like, in even like this you know a chain yeah any of that and just sort of every day you know you can just mix and wear you know you can wear these three alone you know if you feel mm -hmm. like going really clean that's just a clean statement piece and then if you know want to take it to another level you just go a little bit larger you can do a bigger word you know one of the big chains is always fun and then there's, it's all being able to warrant you can wear it all together you know it still is is all layered and but then you can take it down and just wear that I love this that's this fun. Is really cool what does jewelry mean to you the jewelry is so personal you know it's funny I never wore jewelry until I started making it really? I was like yeah I wore nothing um, and so, oh, how did that change? I know, I don't even know how that happened and now look, it's like a joke. Um, <laughs> no, I just, I, I feel it's so personal. It's a great way to express your mood. Mm -hmm. You know, one day you're feeling, you know, I, I, it always makes me feel better. How do you go from day to night? I, I, always, I never wear earrings during the day. It's sort of a funny thing, and I wear a ton of these. I take this off a lot at night, mm -hmm. and I've been layering more chokers, and or sometimes just putting my hair back and adding some big earrings, because I'm doing these big, huge earrings now, and they're really fun at night. I love those. Yeah. Pull your hair back. Yeah, pull your hair back, a little red lip. You know, great. Well, yeah. what can we expect to see from you in the future? Next is the is the larger fine collection, which I'm really excited about because I want to do some more red carpet pieces. And what is like your red carpet aesthetic? Do you think? For me, and that's what's so funny is I don't want to do you know the pretty you know I want to do some some of this, but on a fine level with lots of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Girls are now requesting not just for a single earring, but they're wanting to wear multiple ones up their ear. You know, they're wanting to wear ear cuffs. 
That's another thing that's really fun right now. Yes, we sell a lot of those for the upcoming season. So I just talked to Jamie King. She's a huge fan of your jewelry. What other celebrities are big fans of your work? Oh my gosh. Well, I've got some that are good friends. You know, Jane Krakowski came out the other night to support me at my event, as did Deborah Messing. Um, you know, they're all great. Um, it, it's nice to see um, all these girls really sort of embrace the line and, mm -hmm. and, and it, it gives you a great feeling when they, they, they validate your designs. Of course. You know, and then they want to wear them on the red carpet or they want to wear it to, you know, they want it to wear it to a premiere. And then also when they want to buy it personally, that's to me means the most when, mm -hmm. you know, instead of them just wanting to be photographed in it, when they, they want to buy things and wear them every day, that's really personalize the Personalize it too. That's the most important thing. I love that. And last question, how do you describe the Jennifer Fisher girl or brand in three words? Fearless, individual, with an edge. Love it. That's four words, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>